All right, joining me right now is Congressman Tom Tiffany, a Republican who, from uh, Wisconsin who serves on the House Judiciary Committee, took part in today's hearing. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. Um, I want to get right to the idea of, you know, Merrick Garland, under oath, once again said he didn't involve himself in the federal investigation. He tried to paint the picture that he's not political, that the DOJ is not politicized or weaponized. You don't believe him? Yeah, I don't believe him. I mean, I think Representative McClintock hit the nail on the head there where he said, you know, you're either complicit in this or else you're not paying attention to your job. So think about it. David Weiss gives a sweetheart deal to Hunter Biden. And now as the walls close in around the Biden family, he says, I'm going to name David Weiss as a special prosecutor. The judge threw out the sweetheart plea agreement because the judge smelled a rat that the prosecutors and um, uh, Hunter Biden's lawyers, the agreement that they struck. So, so I mean, the judge knew it was wrong. Let, let me ask why you a didn't question. David Weiss let, know that? Let me ask that? you a question, Congressman, because this is what I want to understand. This sure. is why I can't swallow it. So Hunter Biden, he was indicted, felony charges, charges that are usually not brought as standalone gun charges. So how is this Garland protecting the Bidens? And by the way, Garland didn't prosecute Trump for overturning the election even after the January 6th criminal referrals. He could have done it. He only moved forward after Mar-a-Lago. Garland is the same person, the same person who defended Trump in E. Jean Carroll lawsuits and the lawsuits brought by Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. This doesn't make sense. If he was really a political animal only to go after the right, he wouldn't have done these things. So why did Garland name David Weiss as a special counsel? He knew it was going to stink to high heaven after the sweetheart deal that Hunter Biden got. And the judges said, no, that's not good enough. And now they've had to go back and review Hunter Biden's case. But, Congressman, you Merrick say it's Garland, a sweetheart deal. I mean, at a you minimum, say, he's tone deaf You say it's a sweetheart then. deal. We both know tax attorneys across this country can say they have clients who have failed to pay. They repay it. They're not necessarily brought up on felony charges, let alone misdemeanor charges. And the gun charge, as I mentioned, it's not brought as a standalone charge. It's usually brought as part of a larger case where someone uses a gun. There are people who say the, the, Hunter Biden's only being prosecuted because he's Hunter Biden. He didn't file his 4473, and then the gun that he bought was found in a garbage can. This is supposed to be an administration that's tough on gun crime. Just that alone, and he gets a sweetheart deal where he isn't going to have to do any time? What other American gets that? It's a dual system of justice. Let me ask you this. I want to play. This is number two. This is Republican Representative Ken Buck, who says that Garland would have been criticized no matter what. Let's play that real quick. In three different opportunities where you could have acted, you would have been criticized either way, um, whether you acted or did not act in that situation. Um, far from slow walking, uh, really, once the Trump administration decided that that was the person leading the investigation, your hands were tied. See, that's the part I'd, I'm not sure of. No, it seems to me that no matter what Garland would have done with respect to Hunter Biden, he would have taken heat. You know, that's fair enough, Jesse, in that we're going to be adversarial with him. There's no doubt about it. But when you look at the actions of the Department of Justice, when they've went after Catholics in Richmond, Virginia, and perhaps other dioceses around the country, when they've went after school board or parents at school board meetings, and you have them working openly with the big tech companies to censor people, denying them their First Amendment rights to free speech, I mean, you've got a Department of Justice that is not working for the American people. So, Congressman, before I let you go, I want to ask you real quick, with the impeachment inquiry setting to heat up, what are you expecting to find that hasn't been found already by House Republicans? Yeah, week after week, we've seen more information that has come out over the last number of months. I'm so proud how, yep. how Republicans have handled this. We have not said that we're going straight to impeachment like the Democrats right. did. We're going to do an inquiry. We're going to get full information okay. before we make any decision about impeachment. All right, we'll watch. Congressman Tom Tiffany, thank you so much for taking the time, sir. Good to join you, Jesse. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.